quickly shift focus to the other big news that is developing. Kiran Kher, uh, who was the MP from the Bharatiya Janta Party from Chandigarh, has now been dropped. Uh, the Bharatiya Janta Party has dropped Kiran Kher from the seat of Chandigarh. Uh, it's facing off with the Congress. The, there is an alliance on the Chandigarh seat and the Aam Admi Party has given that to the Congress. And the latest that we're getting in is that the BJP has dropped Kiran Kher, the sitting MP from Chandigarh. Instead, uh, Sanjay Tandam, the ex-BJP state president from Chandigarh, has been fielded in place of Kher. Tandam, who was the Chandigarh BJP chief for nearly a decade from 2010, he was appointed as BJP's election co-in-charge for Himachal Pradesh. Kher congratulated Tandon on Facebook minutes after the announcement was made and extended her best wishes. This time, the Congress has fielded MP Manish Tiwari from Chandigarh, so it would be a keen contest. Manish Tiwari versus BJP's Sanjay Tandon in the Union Territory. Also, talking about the BJP's big names that have been dropped apart from Kiran Kher, the incumbent MP from Chandigarh, it also includes Rita Bhaguna Joshi, the MP from Prayagraj and Virendra Singh, the MP from Balia, who have all been dropped from the list. Joining me is uh, my colleague uh, Kamaljit Sandhu, getting us the latest from Chandigarh. Kamal, Kiran Kher dropped uh, the former state president of the BJP, now facing off with Manish Tiwari. Oh, well, Preeti, let me correct you first. Uh, Manish Tiwari has not been announced yet. Pavan Kumar, Bansal, uh, the former railway ministers in the UPA, is a front runner there. But meanwhile, yes, uh, Kiran Kher, the two-time MP, 2014-2019, she won with a huge margin against Pavan Kumar Bansal, and he remains a front contention as far as the seat is concerned for the Congress party. Meanwhile, it does seem that this does not come as a surprise, because even when we were speaking to Kiran Kher during the Chandigarh mayor poll controversy, she was, didn't seem very confident. Uh, Sanjay Tandon is not just an old horse, he is somebody who's... Uh, seen the party through thick and thin. Uh, many rely on him. But yes, there were others like Arun Sood who were in contention. Uh, but yes, uh, Sanjay Tandon and being a co-in-charge as far as Himachal Pradesh is concerned uh, has been trusted with this duty, especially of taking care of City Beautiful. But remember, there is not just anti-incumbency, but also the Chandigarh Mayor Paul uh, controversy, which, uh, which is something. But they're saying uh, that this is going to be about leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, not looking at much of a hassle. Uh, yes, they're talking about the contention Yes, there would be competition coming in from the Indi Alliance. Uh, but remember, as far as the Aam Admi Party and the Congress together are concerned, the seat may be going to the Congress Party. Uh, but we've been speaking to Aam Admi Party My sources, help. and they've been saying uh, that that uh, this is going to be uh, well and weighted. Uh, they would watch out as to who the contender really is and then decide on the support. Uh, so clearly at this point of time, uh, BJP taking a lead against other parties and announcing their candidature. And no, it's not Kiran Kher. And remember, uh, many even pointed out that she was an outsider, even though she had a Koti or a bungalow in Sector 8. Uh, but Sanjay Tandon has been an old resident staying in Sector 18. So meanwhile, it does seem uh, that Tandon uh, has reached out to Kiran Kher, says all is well. I have campaigned for her and she's promised to campaign for me. All right. Uh, thank you, Kamal, for joining us with that latest. And you are right. Till now, the Congress hasn't announced a candidate uh, from Chandigarh. In all probability, Manish Tiwari eyeing for the spot, but Pawan Kumar Bansal also in the running. We're going to keep getting our viewers more.